Welcome to Warrior Class. Where the teachers whip ass. And you will too if you pass. Now I keep laughing <laughs> because I keep saying I'm gonna get y'all one day, but I won't do it because it's a I keep saying I'm one day I'm saying, welcome to Warrior Class, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> just a y'all just a throw they, Right, just throw it on like uh I said now they may all say where, where the teachers whip ass, y'all. <laughs> you will too if you pass, y'all. Well, that'd be kind of cool. Welcome to the warrior class. Good people everywhere. I'll be throwing off. Throwing, I'll be throwing, I'll be <laughs> so this is the gun defense episode. Yeah. Now I've waited for this because um you don't like to be seen with a gun. Yeah, if, one, I don't want right, don't <laughs> want to be seen with a gun in public. Everybody knows that one. You don't like to do that. And two. It takes a lot of responsibility on the part of the people doing it, us, that's teaching it, and the people learning it to not think you're a superhero. And this is only the absolute last resort. Um, and if you are very lucky, to be honest. Right. Because when a person pulls a pistol on you, if they got a lick of sense, they're not close to you. Um, so then what you gonna do then? You can't outrun it. You better be a good talker. You can't take it a bit of discipline. You better really have to get the gag because that's all you can rely on and, 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 and praying, you know, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. I'm glad we waited too, because people need to know that we know what we took, what we're doing and what we're talking about first. That too. You know and, and because of, uh, our brother from dust. Yeah, he's from Detroit. He's making he, bullshit gun right, defense making popular. These bullshit gun defenses. <laughs> um, you know, uh, which we're gonna go through thoroughly. Yeah, next, in, in next the episode, show. Ne probably the next episode, yeah, we're, we're gonna next. deal with. So we're gonna probably do two, three uh, episodes dealing with these bullshit folks that's online, and he'll be the first one we deal with in his videos and and what's dangerous about those. Um, and it's, it's what he's doing, just a marketing strategy, but brilliant marketing strategy. But now, yes, if it's just a marketing strategy to get more people looking at his stuff, I mean, you know, he's making stuff with Master Ken, who also, you know, we know Master Ken is jokes, right? right, right. This dude is people who take them seriously. So the danger is if it's just a marketing strategy to get more people, and you, you may be really a great martial artist. The number, the millions of people who've seen those videos, let's say if only 10% believed that you, they could use those techniques, that's 100,000 people. Dead. That could, be, <laughs> that could end up dead if they use that, right. um, what you're teaching. So by the time you get to say, hey, I was checking y'all, I just wanted more people in, and here's the real stuff, you've already gotten hundreds a thousand, if not millions of people and the quick, in danger. And the thing about it is, unless he's really unaware, he'd have to, he has to know that. So we're going to have to ask ourselves some questions about people, especially that, that look like us, that put out techniques that can be dangerous to, to our people. We and, and you know, so he's on Master Ken because white people eating that up, that this black man giving it to, they know black people watching, giving them bullshit that can get them killed. Right. Because whenever Master Ken has other people on, they're real good martial artists. Yeah. They're good martial artists, effective, and he jokes with them. But he's never had just a joke martial artist. Right. Like this. Right. And this brother so, went from nowhere to, like I said, Master Ken, he's on, uh, so I, I think you pronounce him Romero and the Jesus. That, that, that yeah. pocket, that show. The Jesus. The Jesus. And that's on Showtime now. Right. It's Jesus and Mero. Jesus and Mero. Okay, yeah. It's some guy. Yeah. yeah. I don't really get yeah, into them too much. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to get into it. Into it. Right. First, we're going to deal with a little news. All right. So, first couple things I want to, and so it's three quick things, but it's a theme to it if, you, if you're looking at it. So, one, we got an Ohio deputy. We'll go right here. Oh, I'm sorry. For, former Oklahoma police officer sentenced to 25 years in the murder of his daughter's boyfriend. His, this is a white male. His daughter was a white female and her boyfriend was a black dude. 
And um, he was just sentenced at the five trials, which three resulted in hung juries. Conviction on the fourth was overturned. It took five. Tri I can't imagine a parent having to go through that. Um, that's just crazy. So I'm not going to, you can pull the story up if you want. It was a 19 year old Jeremy late. Um, and he was the one shot. So I want to highlight that story because it just happened. This was published in January the 11th. So that's one. We also got an Ohio deputy that's indicted right now for the murder of uh, Casey Goodson, 23, five, five times in the back and killing him after mistaking his Subway sandwich for a gun. We got that. We're going to go to, I'm going to come down here where the wife of Ohio man, excuse me, the widow of an Ohio man who was shot and killed by police officers on New Year's Day, she wants justice. So what happened was basically the man was uh, doing his celebratory gunshots in the air on the first, which I, if you ever seen my post, I talk about that, man. Just don't shoot your guns. Especially in the air, if you shoot in the ground, why are you gonna shoot in the air with shells? You know, because that that's coming down somewhere. It's ridiculous, and a uh, killing force, by the way. Yes, why people shooting the air is ridiculous. Why are you wasting ammo with how much they cost these days is ridiculous, and uh, shooting on the fourth is just especially if you Not live the fourth, in the, the first. The first, I'm sorry, they do it on the fourth. fourth. Right, right, right. I, I say the fourth because it happened more here. I live well, some places in the south. They shoot on the fourth too and the first. Uh, up north, at least where I'm from, Chicago, they uh, just use fireworks. And fireworks and shoot shooting on, on those days are, is illegal. Fireworks are illegal in, in, in Illinois, period. Wow. But yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was illegal here for a long time. It was, it was yeah. yeah. So it was fireworks. They, they just, with the money. That's what I'm talking about, fireworks. They did it, yeah, they did it for the money. So... The thing about it, so don't do that, first of all. But so this guy shooting this AR-15 in the air, boop, 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 boop. All of a sudden, he was shooting, and he, pow, he got hit. And nobody knew where, where the bullet came from. So he stopped shooting. They looking around. They don't hear nothing. And then the police roll up, because they was behind. They was in their backyard, enclosed in the gate. So the police shot them from a, a, a secure place where they didn't even know they shot him. Yes. He turned around to follow his wife back in the house where she should have been standing, where she was standing like a foot away. And he said, I've been shot. My husband and I both went in, in there, went out there, gunshots everywhere. Everybody's doing the celebration. So why was he shot? Anyway, the, he was 46 year old man. I don't want to pass it off too fast, but he was unaware there were any police on the other side of the fence. He maintained, he he was shooting in the air when they shot at him, which he was from was what his wife said. My point is this. Um, now, let's say he died. He died from that wound or he shot him again. Uh, so let's go to the exactly what happened. So gunned down without warning during their, the woman told a newspaper that her husband, James Williams, had been firing off cel celebratory gunshots with his AR-15 skyward into the air in their backyard, a tradition for the people in their neighborhood. My husband fired four shots in the air total, Marquita Williams says. That, that, well, we know that's not true. Well, he's, with the AR-15, yeah, yeah, yeah. we know I, I don't want to go into Unless that. Unless he way. just walked out there, I don't know. <laughs> when he turned around to follow his wife back in the house where she had been standing only a foot away, he said, I've been shot. My husband and I both went out there to shoot guns in the air like everybody else does to celebrate, she explained. The widow told reporters that a 46-year-old um, um husband was behind a six foot wooden privacy fence making it almost impossible to see in or out williams said her husband was unaware police were on the other side of the fence and maintained the man was not firing at authorities out of the blue he he said he got shot he got shot williams explained the wife is saying this is what happened i don't know where it came from nobody said anything they didn't say police they didn't say freeze they didn't say drop your weapons they just shot him I could see the blood splattering across his shirt. He collapsed in the living room. William said the 911 call uh, in the 911 call, but instead uh, was met with 30. Oh, she made a 911 call, but was met with 30 something officers with guns pointed at us, telling us to get down, come out of the house with their hands up. The father was taken to uh, Altman Hospital, where mm. he was later, uh, where he later died. Mm. Camp police said in a press release, the officers who were outside of his vehicle 
confronted the subject that began shooting a firearm. The officer, in fear for his safety, fired his dirty blah, blah, blah. We already well, know. Why would, they, why would he have any reason oh, to oh. approach? However, body camera footage released on Wednesday, January the 5th, confirmed Williams' claim her husband was shooting, was shot without warning. In the clip, the shooting officer, whose name has not been released, um, whose name has not been released, hears the shots, draws his weapon, walks toward the tall fence, and blindly fires at least four times through the oh. fence. He never identified. No, 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 no. Now that, he didn't blindly fire. He had to see something. He aimed at that man he and shot him. him. So he murdered the man. It, it, exactly. Because he didn't announce. It, exactly. And this is from the clip. This ain't her statement. Now, We're talking about the, the camera. The man was being reckless, dangerous, and and probably ignorant of that. He probably didn't even know that if you shoot in the air, when that bullet comes out, it can kill somebody. Well, most people don't realize that. Right. So he wasn't, but he so, wasn't a threat. And even if he did, you you say, "Hey, sir, drop the weapon." You say hey, something. Man, yes, it, this dude didn't say no. He just shot him. So that's crazy. Um, he never identified himself or communicated with the victim, even after the shot. So that's wild. Um, because he said, "Oops, yeah, yeah, I, I killed him." Uh, right. I'm about to go home and enjoy my family on the first. Now you. You couple that with this last story. Virginia Beach Police Department used forged documents during interrogation, Attorney General says. I don't even have to go too far in this story. I'm going to just say it happened at least five times between two, at least five times. I mean, if they caught five of them, it happened probably 105 times. Oh, yeah, exactly. And uh, this was between 2016 and 2020. So I want to leave y'all with this right here because this is a great saying that uh, I got off this guy page right here. Let your children know they can choose anybody they want as a significant other. If I'm talking to black folks right now, because I'm sure there's not other nationalities on here, but let your let your children know they can they can choose any significant other, black, white. I'm not gonna let my child, know that. <laughs> but this is a, this is a post right here. He said, let your children know they can choose anybody they want as a significant other, but also let them know if they choose a white person and you come up missing, police ain't starting no investigation. Yeah. Now, if you remember last show, we talked about the, the, the white man and the black woman. Mm -hmm. it, it, they didn't even say, he's a nice fellow. We're not going to even investigate him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's not a joke, what he's saying. Mm -hmm. That's that's real. We need these fat checkers from Instagram from Instagram to go check some of this stuff out instead of getting off get off my page. I tell you, but um, I just wanted to put that out there, man. Seriously, um, watch out for these people that's supposed to be serving and protecting because they serving and protecting something else. It ain't got nothing to do with you what they serve and protect. So I just want to put that out there. I know we got some good officers out there. Yeah, yeah. that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. I'm going to treat you like I say this. I'm kind of prejudiced. And what I mean by that is, I explain this all the time. If four Carolinians, I meet the first one and he slapped me. I meet the second one and he slapped me. The third person from North Carolina will be watching him mighty hard when he walked by me. And I'm going to have my defenses up. Well, I tell you, in the old Take what do, you will with that. In, in, in the old do, which is the body of knowledge in Ufa, Um which is a Yoruba tradition uh, of divination and life. A woman takes, she finds a, a, a sick snake it's, you know, in the forest. She takes it home. She raises the snake, she feeds it, she mm. you know, keeps it warm or well, cool, because you know, whatever, whatever you mm. do to it, keep, you know, keeps it warm. They get they cold blood, right? She keeps right. it comfortable. She, she helps it get stronger. She brings it, you know, she, she's bringing it rats to eat. And snake gets healthy. Woman comes home, you know, sees the snake. Oh, you're healthy. It bites her. And she's dying. It's a, it's a venomous snake. She starts to die. So, snake, how can you do this? I, I fed you. I, I loved you. I, I gave you a home. And the snake said, you, you didn't know that I was a snake, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's in the old do that's a thousand year old story we've long known a snake is a snake 
is a snake. Is a snake is a snake. You don't try to figure out which one's a venomous. Snakes be snakes. Which one? And so right. <laughs> so a cop, you don't try to find trying to find a good cop. It's like trying to find a grizzly bear in a blizzard <laughs> on Sunday. It, it's just it's very difficult. A polar bear? A no, grizzly, a grizzly bear. bear. <laughs> okay. In a snowstorm <laughs> on Sunday. Because if you find it, you're gonna get killed. <laughs> it's, a <great laughs> it's a great analogy. That reminds me I do somebody would say a polar bear? No. <laughs> you know, like Muhammad too, of course, when he talks about the devil. And you know, you know about well, well, we 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 they discuss that on on Remix Morning Show about uh, really? one thing that white people they, they don't mind being called Ope. Oh, yeah, I they, don't know. They they hate they being called the mean. devil though. Oh yeah, but, the but they is, listen to Devil Music that, Volume One through fourteen, right? right. <laughs> you you know you if you learn to look at it that way, then you don't think that there's a gray area. You understand that in certain things like that, there, there's no gray area. Like you're saying, either it's a snake or not. That's the safe way to move. That's the devil. But, but, should, but, but. You marry the devil? Well, there are some people so crazy. So, <laughs> you know? there is a billionaire in Chicago who would tell you white man's the devil. White man's the devil. White woman's the devil. They all the devil. Married to a white woman, Kanye? No, uh, yeah, yeah, Kanye too. From Chicago. No, this this one is older. Uh, okay. Besides Kanye, somebody. Uh, yeah, else. his name uh, is his, 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 his EH are his initials. That's all I'll say. So if you can figure out billionaire from Chicago, okay. So mm. he and I know him well. Uh, now, just knowing a billionaire ain't giving you nothing, right? But. Uh, he had talked, we, we were talking and he said, you know, I said, well, you calling uh, your, your wife and the white people the devil, your, your wife? He said, uh, yeah, yeah, the white person, all white people the devil. He said, you know, uh, I love her and she got my children, she's the devil. So let you know how insane that is. So the people who will marry the devil. That you can't trust that person. That's just crazy. Well, of course not. And, you know, to get his billionaire, you know, tell him what he did. I don't know. Kill, I don't care much for the devil concept, but uh, speaking on Elijah Muhammad, one of the hardest thing he ever said when he was saying about the devil, he talked about the devil, and then the the, the person asked me, and he said, "Well, do you have the devil inside of you?" He said, "Sure, I just converted mine to Islam." I love. <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much, but I just love that he well, said that. Um, you know, Donald Elijah Muhammad, another story. He riding with Minister Farrakhan, and he. He says something to the effect of, have you ever seen uh, the devil in flesh? Mr. Swarkon said, no, it's a, it was an old white man walking across. He said, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, that. <laughs> so now uh, any other news or we're going to get to it? We're going to get to it. We're going to get right. to it. So we're going to get to it. Um, gun defense. First of all, here's a question for y'all. Is gun defense possible? Is the pistol now we're talking pistols, not rifles. That's right, a right, different right. level or something. But and one day we'll deal with that. But is pistol defense without a pistol? Is it possible? Mm. Before we get started, so let me see in the chat. What you say? What you say? What you say? Is it possible? Um, do you think it's possible? Okay, looking. Can down. you? If a person has a pistol, can you defend yourself against it? You know, um, what would you do? Would you grapple? Would you kick it out of their hand? Would you uh, break their uh, uh, hand or dislocate their wrist to make them drop it? Well, you know, what would you do against the martial arts where you don't have to touch just, people? You just right, just yeah, they they you learn you know, that they drop it, that or, or, yeah. or you hit a pressure point. And, you know, oh, like, baby, they no. have a stroke and yeah. they can't use it. Pop, 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 my kind of Vulcan. Well, oh, that's boy. the nerve. That's the nerve Ooh. pinching in, in the shoulder. The Vulcan hits you. You're not going to shoot a Vulcan. For, that's first off. You not. Nah. Vulcan ain't never been shot. But the Vulcans are full of logic, so you may be like, "Hell no, I'm out of here. <laughs> got a pistol. I'm out of here." So I don't know. Um, we gonna see now. So you know, we, we're, we're about to 
state our opinion. All right. Our opinions are based on training. Uh, it's based on, for me, it's based on actual real life experience um, on both ends, using a pistol and maybe or maybe not we're about to deal with it, it, was, it was you know allegedly uh, allegedly take, allegedly using the pistol and it was allegedly taken from me or uh, um allegedly somebody trying to use one on me and i allegedly took it from them you know these things happen hey uh or it didn't or it didn't Maybe I tried to take it and got shot. We're about to deal with that. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Just a minute, yeah, you know. Didn't even make it. I tried to, you know, I tried to, mm -hmm. I tried to get it, but you know, you popped me. Yeah, you man. Know, maybe I was six, actually six six, and now I'm six two uh, because I got shot and it, it see, shaved yeah. off a couple of inches. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know. It was spinal. To, it was spinal, like Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> we're about to deal with it. Um, and I want, I want you to know, we're about to be very realistic and honest about what we're going to do okay so we're going to go around to this side and out the gate i'm going to deal with uh the realities of, of this thing right we want you subscribing hitting the like and sharing as we yes pivot share. and rotate let people know if you know anybody that says you can't right uh defend yourself against the pistol is pistol the ultimate weapon Invite them. The uh, share it. Things, if they, if, if, they, if they say them, I got they, the they, can take, they can take a pistol. Invite them. We want them all. We want all your opinions on here. Now, you got that basic training. You know what to do with. It? Let us see. Let us see. Yeah, you, you know, army basic training, and you can snatch a man's <laughs> rib cage out of his body. <laughs> you know, come on, we, you know we. That's Basic? Well, you know this gun has been checked three, four times. A <laughs> dude I know, all he had was basic training. Told me he'll snap, he can snatch my rib cage out of my body. Wow! Just, just off of nothing. Just snatch well, a rib cage. We were talking about martial arts, oh, okay. right? And uh, this before I went to the military, but of course, you know, my father is is was a operator in the military, and then I end up one. But even when I became an operator, I, I never learned to snatch somebody's rib down. <laughs> Even with all well, my martial training, training almost I never, 50 years, but you can't snatch no rib out. out. My, my father, you know, neglected me in my training. Oh, I didn't even oh, teach you to snatch his rib cage out. You gotta get this brother on the show, man. You know and he man? told me then, the same person, though, as with having this disagreement, where he grasped me, I told him, if, if you don't let me go, <laughs> you're gonna learn what I do know. But you, <laughs> and, I might can't snatch a rib, I can right. break that moment. And then he tells me, but then he tells me, uh, well, we were talking about, then it gets to the Karate Kid and the different move, martial art movies. I'm not into martial art movies. I said, definitely not no Karate Kid. I like Cobra Kai more than Karate Kid. Right? The story, but, not for the martial Right, arts. the story, not the martial art. But then he says to me, Karate Kid, not even, no, he said, Ralph Macchio will whoop your ass. Oh, my God. I said, oh, Ralph God. Macchio is not even a martial <laughs> artist. He said, yeah, he was drunk. <laughs> but he said, you know, Ralph Macchio whoop your ass. I said, well, I'll beat your ass and go get Ralph Macchio to, to whoop my ass, you know, and that, that ends the conversation. That's usually but, how you end conversations, by the way. I mean, you know, I, I really wanted to beat him up anyway, but grab my rib cage. The thrill is to not mean to have on hoodies. I so just isn't that realized crazy? the same thing. You know, it's not, man. Wow. I got you. We, we actually did discuss this. <laughs> uh, we got the same shoes, the same not, pants, and hoodie. No, nah, we didn't. We didn't plan that. That's weird. The weapon has been checked a few times. And then, anytime you, you grab a tool to train with somebody, use a, a practice one if you can. But if you're going to use a real one, I don't know why I got this. But you drop the slide. And you got to know. I don't be. I didn't even know it was a real gun. I just happened to grab it. <laughs> so you drop the slide. You check. Make sure there's no. First, you do that to make sure it'll, it'll reject anything that's in the chamber. But you check, make sure nothing jammed in there, all that good stuff. Then it's safe to use to demonstrate. That's that's it. It's your responsibility, the person with the gun responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Don't just right. trust me that it ain't nothing in there. All right. So now, out the gate, 
I would not carry a weapon like this. I just want y'all to know. But we're in the street. Yeah, we're in the street you. right so, now. So show it how it goes, show. If you're nice. going to disarm or, or deal with, no, I won't say disarm. I really don't like disarm things. If you're gonna uh defend yourself against a, a gun, the best time, the most ideal time, probably the only time that you're halfway safe, okay, is on the draw or when it's still in the holster. So it's got to be down there. He's he's going for it, or it's just in the holster, and you right. So on. If I see it there, I can I can go for it. Mm -hmm. On the draw, I stop him. So I'm like, so you know what's going on? Hey, I see it. Hey, hey, what's that? No, what? no bro. Boom. Boom. I go for it, right? I put my hands on it. And then you see where his finger is? Because I'm ready to grab that trigger. I press that finger. Because it's not going to be like a lot to his thigh. Maybe it goes to him. Let's see if see Even if it was, I could put my thumb in there. Once I get my thumb in there, I push that towards his baby finger. I want you to watch what his hand does. Okay. I'm going to try to be manly. You push it towards the baby ah, finger. That don't see it? That don't He's going to let go. You try this. Try this yourself. Try it with your husband, brother, wife, friend. See how much pressure it takes for you to make a move. It don't take much. The hand finger don't want to do that. There. He even is caught on his shirt. So then when you pull it, when you pull this out, you can immediately fire because they're going to take the left up. Because you don't know if he put one in the chamber. Fire. Or you step back. Hold it to the center of your chest. Put your hand on top of the other one. Both thumbs on the same side. There. I got my finger here. That's just training. You don't put your finger here until you fire. Okay. Put your finger here. If I was going to shoot, I could shoot from here. So he, he can't grab it. If, this, if, if he moved or whatever. My, my foot is back on the same side. I push forward. This is punching. This is pulling. That's real so jewels see. that folks don't really know when they're trying to shoot accurate or just trying to shoot. Period. I'm, sh I'm, and then I look through the rear. The front should become clear. The rear is blurry. I shoot with both eyes open. One day we'll deal with that. Why it's done, but right now we won't go too much into that. Uh, I shoot with both eyes open. If you want, you can shoot with one eye open, all that stuff. I, I don't. Did you, did you keep your mouth open? No, I don't keep my mouth open. Just talking. <laughs> no, some I keep people, my, some, I don't know. Is that something that some people do? I don't know. No, you have to do that. like wide open, but just like when you're dealing with no, that's off. that's if you're shooting a 50 <laughs> caliber <laughs> rifle <laughs> or higher, you do that so it don't pop your head. 50 off. caliber or higher. You, you, you do that see. so you don't pop your eardrums. Uh, one day, an uh, older, older man with a mask on uh, about my build may go out and shoot a 50 caliber rifle, and I'll show you the techniques for that. Okay. Mm. Not, I, not me. I mean, he'll, Somebody he'll might show you the techniques for that. Right, One right, day right. we may do that. You'll bring um, special guests on. You might look like. Right. Look similar to me. Yeah, yeah. I think he related to me. Right, right. Might go out and, and shoot a 50 cal. We call him Baba. The other guy, we call him Shaba. Yeah, Shaba. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Jamaican accent, too. So, once again. I think that Shaba thing has legs. First technique, first technique. Yeah, he, he reached. So, you going? So, so I don't, I don't oh, want no, to going down. Then, then I go, hoi! Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's dust right there, some craziness. Right. So he got, a boom, hand on, peel off. If you take it with this hand, the other hand, 
you hand it to if you if you hand it to your other side. If I'm a lefty and I take it like this, yeah, go ahead, just turn it over. You you got the upper hand now. Yeah. Just don't let him get close to you because this, 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 he's going to fight for it. He's going. He, he may try to go for it before it gets fixed. That's why. And that's where he takes it. That's why. That's why it's close. And boom. It doesn't matter if his hand in the way or whatever, right? Well, really, rack it, right? And then I'm here. Once once it's racked and I'm here, he's probably not going to try to grab it. probably is not going to try to right. He's got to try to grab the point. If he tries to grab it before I racked it, I know he more than likely has not racked that thing or just out of his nervousness he's trying to grab it. Yeah. I'm going to find out. <laughs> now, when you go, if... He only had one bullet. And it was in the chamber. And you go here. Now it locked. Oh, ah! <laughs> trying to get that thing to lock all this time. Now it's doing something weird. Oh man, that's strange. See, this is my this is mine. Let me get get my affairs in order. Oh no, there yeah. you go. Okay, well. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't been used yet. Yeah, we used it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, that's what we say. It hasn't been used yet. Never been used. Yet. <laughs> so and you rack, and the bullet goes tweet, and then you pull, and nothing happens. You know there's only one bullet in there. Blood it's time to turn. Right. <laughs> that, this object. bullet turned into a, a, a damn uh, club at that point. It's still very got. effective. Yeah. Uh, really, I wouldn't go up here. We're used to blocking up here. Mm -hmm. Woo! Strike to his groin. That's so Strike to his knee. That's so unexpected. I wasn't so expecting that. Him here. You crack him in his groin, you know what I mean? You would There's naturally like expect them to raise their hand with that pistol. Right. That, I, that was good, Bob. That was a good one right there. Uh, push him in the hip well, the tip of the gun, and then... Well, hurt them. because it's right, it's not enough, especially with his adrenaline running. Okay. Yeah. But that there... Steel to the... That to, the to, to his knees, too. Oh, so my gracious. Hit him in the lower body. But most people have more than one bullet. I'm mm. hopefully mm. so. It's there. He reaches, boom, you go peel. And if you can, if I'm a righty, I try to peel with my left. If, grab if you train it, you'll do it. When you grab, I'm keeping my arm away from the muzzle. I'm not going like this because if I fire, I want to shoot myself. I want my hand in front of it, have it over it or under it. Okay, but don't go in front of here, over it or under it do not put your hand ever or arm in front of this muzzle it also prevents me it's a it, it stops the path of me getting straight to the gun when you that's true right, there, right. so now usually over because then i'm going to rock the slide i take a step back it's ready okay i i have it at the ground because that's how you normally hold it so you're not you know, endangering nobody. If I want, get back. Get back. Then you shoot him anyway. <laughs> so you don't get stuff off. Yeah, because <laughs> you may have another pistol. Get back. Oh, you got another pistol in your, in your pocket? No, man, no, no. <laughs> he reaches Boom. up. Right, right. He's reaching. Boom. All right, so that's how the best way to deal with it. Okay. And on peel, other hand takes. Um, if you're a righty, try to peel with your left if you can. So, you put hand, put hand, peel, other hand takes okay. That, that peels his, his finger back, getting that and peel off, to the finger okay? is very important. And believe me, he's not going to keep holding on with you, no, peel. sir. Okay, try it. That's your best way. Now, are there other ways? Hmm. Why would you not want to do the best way? I don't know. If 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 you're lucky, but so let's say still this way. When I go here, I shit, I want to loosen them before I peel. Boom! You can do that, but let's say boom, I hit him and he starts falling. You best you follow us with that. change that down to that that you bet go down. go down as he's going. Yes, you best <laughs> fall with him. You best fall with them and then get caught. Lay on this. Lay on lay on his uh 
arm or you know, put your weight on his arm with your other arm. Yeah, I can't get to the trigger. See that that there, so he can't fire while I'm I'm on top of him. I and just, if he did, he would hit his leg anyway. Yeah, hit the thigh. But I'm here, and then I peel. Same way, peel the hand. I take the tool. I set up. Now, what was the problem, sir? Well, I, I had you confused. I thought you was a. Uh... Somebody else. You thought somebody else? I'm not. <laughs> oh, I'm that <laughs> nigga. I'm that one. <laughs> so that one, put arm on, put your weight on his arm, peel with your free hand, take with the one you had uh, on his arm, pass it to the other one, sit up. Don't stand all the way up unless you're really quick. Rack it. Okay, so I do that one more time. All right, bro, what, what, what we got? We got issue, brother. Man, I, boom! Not right, here. boom! I go down with him. I lay on that, and that presses it down, so. And then I peel with my free hand, that's not on him. I take, push myself up. What was the problem? Ain't no problem, ain't no problem. Boom! <laughs> anyway. Right. And I saw him in his groin. I saw him in his groin just because he made me mad how he can do all that. He thought he had big ones, so. <laughs> right. That's what happens. Now it's not. <laughs> all right, so. Those are your best bets. Okay. Because. Take the pistol. Take uh, two steps back. Two steps. Point the, the tool. Now I have to run at that. Right there. Uh, don't let somebody tell you you're going to. This is where you have to have to get the dab. You talk your way out of it. But yeah. you better be real uh, favored by uh, the gods. <laughs> and they do something. Because if not, you just run at that. Stop. You got me. Yeah. Okay. He got me. That, that point again. Now that's that's real close, but now I'm gonna try to grab that before you shoot. I'm gonna try from this distance. So what's, what's the problem? Ain't no problem, brother. That's I'm I'm popped. Now, let's get a little closer. Do it again. Now, this time, I'm right here. I can touch that with my head if I just lean forward. So, what's the problem? Ain't no problem, brother. Don't worry. I got shot. <laughs> so, this is how close you have to be for a technique to work that close or press to your head. Most people are not doing that unless they're intimidating. I wish. Then I'd be like, whew, at least he gave me a chance. Right. <laughs> so from here, if it's at your nose or lower, you got to go to the side. If it's at your forehead, you go up. You want the first. Um, put that in my forehead. So that's a lot of times what's going to happen. It's like, I'll blow your goddamn brain down. <laughs> right now, see, that's real close. That That's good. So here. He's here. Then I'm gonna have Ominiki come in and do it. Use use two hands. Okay. I'm about, hand to, I'm, about to I'm about to pocket check you. With oh, oh 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 oh! <laughs> you're doing it like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he's there. What you're going to do is push. So your hands come up. Oh please, sir, don't please. What did I do? This hand pushes up, and you lower yourself. That's key. If you just push up, you probably shave your skull. With that bullet, which means you're, you're gonna probably either be comatose or dead. Okay, so now if I just lower myself, that may not be enough, but I that's still a little up. right. <laughs> so I don't let him lower with me. I push that up as I lower myself. See how much? Look at look out the, the, the limp. Yeah. That's what you do, and then you turn the. So I'm grabbing this. If there's a bullet in the chamber, it will fire, right, right. but it can't cycle another bullet if i'm holding the slide there you go 
and that is tested and true. It will not, and it won't burn your hand. It won't hurt your hand. None of the bullshit that people who don't know nothing about guns are saying. So I'm here. I turn that muzzle to face his chest and then stomach. I've got the tool. Then I rock the slide and it did, did the same craziness again. Ooh, boy. You got to oil this. Yeah. And I'm here, ready to go again. He gets closed. Bop. Okay. He steps back, then I can bop okay, to get a better shot. It's also important that um that part when he throw his hands in the air. Like we when we actually do this uh train it, Bob makes sure that we like you please you you got to be scared. Right. You're gonna be a little scared anyway, but you need you to not be up. like this. When when my student I can both like first start learning. He, Oh, yeah, I'm going to shoot you. I said, dude, he's going to shoot you. <laughs> Why are you looking like you I'm ready for action? One, yeah. two, three. Right. And speaking on that, I was in a situation. I had a, a at gunpoint. I was I was getting robbed. And I made the decision that I was going to charge the dude. This was before my training. But he was close to me like this. I said, I'm about to charge at this dude. I'm going to count the three in my head. So I'm doing this. I want y'all to see my face. I'm saying <laughs> dude, did, he had a gun right here for a minute. Because another person had a, he had a gun right here for a minute putting on gloves. And I I, I had my feet about, you know, about this far from me. He putting on his gloves. Other people in the room with guns and too. So he seen my face and said, hey, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. <laughs> right. You can't give off that. That just don't work. They People can see that in your face. And he might, he could have just now, popped. I went to a class and the dude said, you, if you deal with a gun like this, <laughs> I might laugh before I bust your ass. <laughs> you gonna get torn up. You snake, you gonna stay. <laughs> boom, right? Or, or, or you go boom, you just shoot in the chest. Uh, I'm gonna just over here. Both of y'all snake it. <laughs> if we just going down, down, Lord. <laughs> Oh All right, no, 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 that's no, crazy. No. Don't, yeah, do not snake. <laughs> do not snake. But if I'm with you and you snaking, I'm, I'm gonna be laughing. <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing. I'm, I'm gonna do my best to save our lives, but I'm gonna be laughing when you do that. So now, when the person's close, Omanika's gonna take it from now. Remember, hand up, boom, push up, squat down. Okay. Yes, sir. Bring it back to you. Gripping. Remember how to grip it when you're doing that and everything? That's important. And rack the Send slide. The rack the slide. You say rack the slide. We're making sure that there's a bullet in the chamber ready to fire. All right. And what's up, lady? I need that money. Exactly. I got to let it go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Quite soon. Let me see that one more time. Well, let me Real get that so I don't get knocked down. All right. You know what it is? I need that bread. What's up? What's up? Oh, woo, okay. Oh, my finger almost got caught in a bad yeah, way. It was yeah. straight. So what he's talking about is it when, when it turns and your finger's trapped in there, it can snap your finger. Yeah, you only get a second. So as it. you're training, keep your finger over here. Yeah. And even then, the person grabbed Yeah, I was over there, but she grabbed it tight like that. Off, yeah, right? yeah, you got to snatch that thing out. Now, inside, just so you can see how that mechanism works, as it's being turned, you see what has locking his finger? Yeah, man. You turn that, it'll snap that. Okay? And so in the street, that's what you want out there. Yes. Or they, they let go because it's breaking their finger. Either way, Either way, you're good. You got the tool. Okay, go. Um, do it one more time, and then we'll go to from the back. All right. One more time, and you know what it is, so I need that. I need that. You know, oh, oh, now do that, that again. You got hit. That was the lucky part is she moved off, so, right? You know what I'm saying? She had a big hit in your shoulder, yes, yeah. All right, and what's up? Oh, yeah, oh, good, 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 good. All right, all right, all good, right, all right. Good job, good job. Good. You only got shot once. once. <laughs> you should move I'm back. back. So you have okay. to, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. So now to your back. To the back of your head, to your back, whatever. They got to be touching you. They not 
you don't even know they're there. Right. So you you got on that. Yeah, Once you hear somebody again, talking and hear what's up, they, they touch you with a the pistol, then they're going to kill right. you. Right. Usually, if they robbing you, if they're not, they're trying to kill you, they're going to kill you. They're right. If they're robbing you, they're going to touch but you like right. that. Right. At the same time, they, they, they hit right. their pocket check. They say, don't move, don't say don't, shit. Don't move. You fat. I'm going to touch you now. I'm going to shoot you. Shoot you. It's happened to my mama. I tell you. Mm. But Everybody the crazy thing, this dude was an expert. And I'm, I'm going to tell you. I think I may have mentioned it before. We are walking to church. I was eight. My mother, mother, you know, she didn't drink, she didn't smoke, none of that. But she would bust mother's head in a minute. But she's changing herself into her life, going to church. And so we're walking to church. We're walking to church. And, you know, I'm with my mama walking beside her. And I know she said, I'm walk up front. Go ahead, walk up, walk up with your sisters. I said, Okay, said walk up. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I walked up with them. Bro, must have had then she gun. told me later. He he told her he put the gun in her back. He said, "Tell your son to walk up. If you say a word, I'm gonna shoot him in the back of the head. Not shoot her, him." And that was the mental thing to make her not You've say been doing nothing. for a minute, right? Well, after it happens, she oh no, I've been robbed. He took her purse and he runs off. Right. Call my father. My father's asking my mother questions. Through the series of questions he's asking, he says, That's the dude downstairs. In our basement, that's who just mm -hmm. robbed you. His mother was Spanish. Uh Miss Bell, she's the person that provided Jim Jones with the with his uh firearms when they Went to uh, 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 was it Grenada or wherever the hell they went? Cape and Town. Cape, it was Cape Town. No, not Cape. It wasn't South Africa. They went to Grenada or whatever. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Jim Jones. Who am I thinking about? They went to South America. I thought you were talking about Jim Jones, the rapper. No, like, not the rapper. <laughs> but, you know, I'm way older than, than, than him. Right. Uh, no, it, it's uh, Jim Jones took a bunch of right. people in this coat and gave the Kool-Aid. Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows that's, that's what it's you drinking the Kool-Aid, that's where it comes from. Why don't you name yourself after that? anyway? Right. So Jim Jones got his weapons from Miss Bell. So his mama was that lady. Right. And so, you know, they grew up in that like she was a pastor and all this is some weird. But so he grew up in a life of violence and different so my father, I don't know how because I can't remember the questions. I, I really wasn't in the room. I just remember him saying that. Uh a couple of days later, and I can tell the story now. My father's trying to just oh, uh, I was just thinking about that. I was just thinking about the police just, can't snatch him up. Right, right, right. Uh no, so a couple of days later he comes back with my mother's purse with the money in it. <laughs> And we never saw that dude again. And uh, wow. he moved from the basement and then to the upper. Another lady. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we don't know what happened with him. I was just talking to my wife about this situation. Don't know. I don't know what, what happened, but my father was blessed to be able to get the purse back and the money. It's skillful. You straight from downstairs to upstairs fast. Don't do that. Hey. Don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> so, so um, that. Usually they put it in your back, whatever. That's for, for control. Mm -hmm. And they, you may not even be the target. They, you know, they tell you, well, you know, I'm gonna shoot your child. I'm, I'm gonna shoot your, your your mama, who you may be willing to will to anything. Right. But it's in your back. Or your baby in a stroller. Exactly. Right. It ain't about what they say though. At that point, it's not. It's about this. Right. You say, what if it's not a gun? What if it's not? You handle it like it is. You'll find out. Because that's what they pretend you. You're right. Remember the dude at. at downtown that I was telling y'all about he had a what was he had some tongs in my back. Right. Exactly. I wasn't gonna be like, hey man, what's that back there? Right. But man, that ain't no gun. What is that? Even better, <laughs> if you provided you have your tools the way you should, that you discover that it's not a gun. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Then, then he he finds out you may have a gun or right. two. <laughs> so at this point, key is to get off the line. Now I want you to pay attention doesn't matter which way you turn. That's your preference. Get off the line. Now, 
I'm going to go slow with that. So as I'm going slow, let me see, let me go to other ways you can see. I'm off the line. It's already passed them soon. And then we'll use a pop gun so they can see that. Finally, we get to use a pop gun. Off the line, and my hand is blocking him from coming back on right, the line. That, 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 that Usually works. I don't turn inside because you can tell what's, what's outside of, or, or not. But don't worry about that. Whatever you prefer to turn, just take control. So you turn. I'm turned off the line. He can't come back behind my back. Now I turn around and take his arm, holding on to that. I can put my weight from my chest into me. that to drop him. If I turn the other way, I turn this way. I would slam an elbow into his face. I've got this to my chest tight. Then I bring it with the other arm tight to my chest on top because I slam the elbow. That's tight. Now I can crank this over. Bad. You see the pistols out there? I'm ready to eat. And then I snap his elbow, feeding him knees, 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 until I knock him unconscious. I hold on to this. Okay. I can strip that from his hand if I want to. Easily. And he stands up back up. Bow. Okay. Racket. I'm just worried about it. Freezing on me again. Let me shoot. Okay. So, uh, Omenique is going to do it. Uh, before that, though, let me get the pop gun and put it in my back. Okay. So I can show them. Let's face this way. So when I turn, I was thinking the same thing. See it. see it. We want the pop gun so you can hear it in real time what's happening. Is he getting away from it and or anything? Right. Or did he get shot? Right. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, Why are you doing one, that? Bro. You're going to eat one, bro. I'm, I'm going to eat you one. Gotta... And then shoot off. It ain't pop, but it ain't. It ain't pop, but you see, you got another pops in you it. heard the sound. Yeah, yeah, I could put some in there. Yeah, put that it in there. If it pops, because I'm so uh, <laughs> sensitive to sound, if it pops, I'll, I'll, I'll probably poop my pants. <laughs> so forgive me if I do. Like, because he ain't never, you ain't used to like, popping or nothing like that. Right, right, exactly. Doesn't matter I was in the military. None of that. Oh, no. that, I'm not like you. Woo, that looks dangerous. That looks even. It looks. looks See, that's why he didn't want to use it. This is a threat. That orange. Right, that, that right. Orange it threat. that orange, it, and it blends in with, with the inside of my my hoodie. Oh yeah. So I can't even tell whether it's my hoodie or the gun. <laughs> oh please, sir, please don't. Uh, was all? Yeah, was all. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> so, is this a matter of just turning? You're off the line, and it goes off. Don't get overconfident now. Like you super. Yeah, I'm waiting. Put a mug, put a gun on me. Don't do it. Pray it never happens. I don't know why my friends always but, say that. I know you can't wait for something. No, I, I can wait. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm I'm I can wait. Exactly. I, don't, I don't need no threat. Baby. So now, Omnique's about to do it to her back. Well, she ain't going to do it to her back. He's going to do it to her back. I'm going to do it to her back. I'm going to do it to her back. All right, all right. You know what it is, Sean? When he's uh, trying to tell you. Ooh, okay, okay, calm down. All right, all right. <laughs> Now nah, don't stick in his back. He'll do it to you. Then. Don't <laughs> touch him with it. Just step back. Step away from him. That you want to let go because he's gonna be pulling. Yeah, you got a good. Right, exactly. If you if you stay connected to me like that, I might be able to pull something. Good. Right, right. You get distance. You can remember you got a pistol and rack the slide on it too. And when you turn, don't dip when you turn. Just turn. Right. Hands yeah, up. Good. Yes. Good. Now. That momentum took me down just now. Now take it, take it from him, strip it, it toward, yeah. towards him. Let it turn this way so they can see and, how you strip and, it. And now let him go and give yourself distance. Good. That was perfect. That was good. There you go. All right. So those are the ways you deal with the pistol. Any questions from them? Any questions from y'all? Well, the camera. Any questions? Uh. No, I'm waiting for us to debunk some of this foolishness that's out there. And um, I hope y'all saw what's real and the optimal way to do this stuff. And go look at some videos. Yes, go, please. Go look at some videos of people doing this with paint guns and stuff of that nature and see what works. I guarantee you at the top of the list will be what Baba just showed you. Um, yeah. You if they're doing it right. Right, they're doing it right. Um, this... 
a set of videos that you can find. Look it up. It's like uh, gun disarm test or something like that. You might put it in the chat. And the chat. yeah, yeah, we'll probably put it in the comments, right? Or on the, the doobly do whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, right, right. The description. Right, no, the oh, description mean, part. Oh, right, 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 right. And so when you look, they've tested uh, with a, a paintball gun, mm -hmm. different things like knocking it to the side. They got to do a shot like five times. This, when, when he just pushed and didn't move, he got him shot in exactly. the head. When he pushed and lowered himself, he was able to do it. Uh, from the back, that's actually the easiest one. That Scary, each time was, was right, but each time was successful. So that one you can do. They didn't do the one this, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that's watch that. That's the test. Uh, it's like gun disarm test. Like I said, we're gonna put it down there, and uh, you better see for yourself. And then if you can get a pop gun like we had, you can try it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've tried it from uh, different things. Had people come from different states and. We've tried the different disarms and what works, what doesn't. I keep that in a, in a, in a uh, training knife on me just in case y'all run up on me and want to try some of this stuff and see if it works. Right, I'm going to charge go. it, though, for my time. <laughs> Good enough. So um, if you have any questions, you know, you can put them in the comments. Techniques that you and think work, may work better than this. If you heard something, you've seen, you met oh, Dust, yeah. and he got something he showed you, and you want to say <laughs> you hey, that. Look, if, if Dust me. got some stuff, and you show us his stuff and it is valid. I'd be like, wow, I'd be surprised. <laughs> but it would prove works. to me what I said that what he's doing is a marketing strategy. Mm. But if it is, it's irresponsible. Very. Because either way, he can get people hurt. So either way, he's being irresponsible. You know, everybody's making a joke of him. But in, in truth, there are people who are believing that, and so there are people who are in danger. There I is. was thinking of um, children watching that stuff too. You know what and I'm saying? That too. I mean, you know, children. What? Well, I tell you, and we'll say, "Well, children not going to do." Not true. My friend Anthony was fighting this dude, Ferg. Not Ferg. Not Ferg. He's fighting this dude. We call him Flintstone. I can't remember Flintstone's real name. He looked just like Fred Flintstone, a black Fred Flintstone. Anthony's fighting him. Anthony. One of my closest friends is so powerful. He's boom, he's not gonna do the dude had just we had a book fair at the school. You know, in the old days we'd have book fairs, you could buy all these books and right. all that. Well, he had just bought a, a you know karate for self-defense book. Oh boy. And so he said, Hold on, hold on. After Anthony knocked him down, he's looking at the book. It's okay, I'm ready. And so he goes, Ha! And boom, hits him again. He said, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so then he tries to do a kick that he saw in the thing, and he just move out the way. Boom! He said, hold, hold on. I was like, you, you probably need to put that book down. Hey, hit, or hit. I said, well, hit Andy with the book. Right. And that's what stopped the fight, because everybody laughing, and John Andy said, boy, you crazy. You crazy. Go ahead and open this song. Which brings me to my point. You don't need a pistol to actually try this technique. It'd be good to have one if you do. You can get a toy gun. You can yeah. get a, a stick if you need to. But practice the movement. A movements. gooseneck from a bike. Perfect. There you go. But practice this technique, man. You got to train this for it to be effective, for it to really work. Train it over and over and over hundreds of times. Um, we'll probably be doing some in the next three months. We're in, we're in a phase now where we're dealing with grab, uh, using grabs and escaping from grabs, chokes, things of that nature. The next phase, we're going to pistol because we've never done that. What? Before, we're going to pistol. Oh, oh um, some things you won't see. Like I'll be teaching them proper shooting techniques and things of that nature. That you won't see. You're not going to see me shooting uh, any firearm. That because, you know, our enemies, you ain't going to get me. If you're going to get me, and say I'm a black identity extremist, you're not gonna get me with a firearm in my hand saying it. Right. Yeah, right. No, uh, no. That you're not gonna do. I even talked about that in my book, Malik. Uh, uh, I think it's Malik, Story of a Black Identity Extremist, yes, book one and two. In that, right in that, there's a, 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 a brother who 
it's called a black identity extreme. His stuff goes on where he has to save his family. A lot of urban survival preparedness. Yeah, a lot of urban survival preparedness stuff in there. Uh, you know, you can hide things in fiction, put them in fiction. Uh, tried that with uh, Surviving the Urban Apocalypse. One was successful. I did book two during the height of the coronavirus in 2020. And when I put that book out, they let the ebook come out, but not the hard copy. They said the hard copy would not come out. And so I went to have the adjudication with Amazon. Why? And they were angry. I said, I, I, am I talking to uh, Bezos? I know I was talking to the owner of Amazon. <laughs> and, no, you're not talking to Jack Bezos. I said, well, why are you so angry? Because I wrote a book. I said, uh, this book's not about the pandemic. It was that there was a there was a it's, I forget I, I call it the Rona the Rona virus something like that right I didn't say coronavirus I say Corona I didn't say COVID nineteen I said like COVID twenty three or something but of course we know what I was dealing with McDonald's and they said right they said this will <laughs> never uh, be in print I said hey hey well I said obviously I'm not talking to a, a employee of Amazon who. What government agency you work for? They said, this conversation's done, sir. Wow. And they would not bring it out. Wow. Except ebook. But and that's fine. They don't want people having that on their shelf. Right, right. Yeah. Want, um, and I've it. never bought physical. out since then, I haven't bought out a physical well, yes, at, you know, a lot of I say and and um that's those books. That's because they didn't do know that. what that was. They couldn't right, they, right, <laughs> right. Gotta hide it in, in, Gotta hide it in a different language. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, they don't even like post about warrior class. No. I'm just letting y'all know that. Yes, because uh, he tried to post on warrior class on his page, and they they wouldn't allow him to post on yeah. And they took the past ones off my off my page. Wow. Yeah, that's what happened. They took them off. I posted all this stuff, but hey, don't worry about it because we're gonna keep rocking. We're gonna keep we rocking. Stop. All right. Uh, so share this with your friends. Remember, mash that like button. Uh, subscribe. There'll be a lot more coming to Word Class. We're about to hit the streets, too. Uh, asking people, you know, can you defend yourself and different things that we're going to be teaching right there on the street. I'm going to run up to people with the pistol street. and put it right to the back of their head. Oh, like, yeah. hey, move, move, do it, do it, do it. I, I won't be on that episode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, love y'all. <laughs> Stay black. Whatever you are, peace. Be well, too. Yes, definitely. Be well. Fight that eat thing right. Up. Yes. And yeah, don't let and train. Don't let, uh, what's his name? Omarion oh, jump on you. Don't let him do that dance. So you don't man. Omarion oh, got an ugly <laughs> dance snake, now. Don't snake out. Don't snake, don't snake out, out, out of gun. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, that, that doesn't. Well, if you snake, film it <laughs> and send it to me because. I need a good laugh. All right, peace. Peace.